Hello, welcome to the channel. So we're getting more Cthulhu stuff. Um, this could be interesting, ultimately. Could be garbage. Um, but let's take a look, right? So Jonathan Majors, uh, who was actually in Lovecraft Country. Uh, and he, he was good. He's good. He's a good actor. Uh, I like him. Like, I do actually like him as an actor. Uh, he is going to be teaming up with Spike Lee. Uh, and along with Stefan Bristol. Uh, it's a Netflix film called Gordon Hemingway and the Realm of Cthulhu. So it is a Cthulhu-based film. Not just Lovecraft, a proper Cthulhu film. Now, Spike Lee, I guess, to me, is the sort of main concern here. Um, he, he can be good. Like, I know there's a lot of people that just say, yeah, he's, he's amazing, and like, out and out. Like, I disagree. Like, he can be good. Um, I will say, great for Netflix. Netflix are killing it. So this is an article over on Variety. Jonathan Majors is in talks to star in Spike Lee and Stefan Bristol's Gordon Hemingway and the Realm of Cthulhu for Netflix. Now, I'm hoping this will be really good in terms of the Netflix side of it. Because Netflix do... They, they, they do peak and trough in quality. My God, do they peak and trough. But they've been on an upward swing. So hopefully it'll be good. Now, Majors is in negotiations to play Gordon Hemingway, teaming up with Lee for his second outing after starring in the filmmaker's Netflix hit The Five Bloods, which debuted to critical acclaim last June. The movie has since been named the best film of 2020 by the National Board of Review, uh, among other accolades. So people really like it. Uh, Lee and his The Five Bloods producing partners Lloyd Levin and Beatrice Levin will produce Gordon Hemingway, uh, with Bristol, see you yesterday directing the adventure film. So it's not even it's not even Spike Lee directing it. I I don't understand. Like he he's just producing it. That's all he's doing. But it could be uh, a situation uh, like we have um, with uh, Jordan Peele, right? So Jordan Peele will produce a film. To say, like, he's producing Candyman, for instance, right? But you watch the trailer, and eventually we'll see the film, and you go, oh, well, it's, it's definitely a Jordan Peele film, you know? There, there are certain producers that basically direct the film. They are they are directors. Uh, and I think Spike Lee's one of them. Personally, that's that's what I think, anyway. Now, uh, it, I mean, it's an, it's an, it's an action-adventure film with Lovecraft in it. And I always think, as well, like, that's, that's a bad use of Lovecraft, personally. Um, I just think that's a bad use of Lovecraft. It's it's not that original. Um, and I think it misses the point of Lovecraft. Now, based on an original screenplay by Hank Woon. Now, when it says with rewrites, it means significant rewrites. So, with significant rewrites by Frederica Bailey. The film was set in East Africa in 1928 and centres on Hemingway, a roguish black American gunslinger. So, this chap here doing a roguish black American gunslinger, I think could be really good, actually. Um, I'd love to see him in that role. I think that would be good fun. Now, uh, this character then teams up with the elite warrior princess, Zene Zenebe of Ethiopia, oh, uh, to rescue the country's kidnapped regent from an ancient evil. Cthulhu. Presumably Cthulhu, anyway. Now, the new project is the latest in a run of high-profile projects for the rising star who earned a Gotham Award nomination for Breakthrough Actor, as well as Independent Spirit Award nod for his performance in 2019's The Last Black Man in San Francisco. Majors most recently starred in the critically acclaimed and Golden Globe Award-nominated series Lovecraft Country, created by Misha Green and executive produced by Jordan Peele and J.J. Abrams. Notably, though, Cthulhu is a fictional cosmic being created by H.P. Lovecraft, who inspired the Lovecraft Country series... Um, and the Gordon Hemingway film is not based on the author's work, so it's an original thing. Uh, and I think it being action-adventure does does somewhat miss the point. Now the actor is currently uh, the now the act yeah the actor is currently in production on Black Label Media's Devotion, directed by J D Dillard. He will next be seen in Netflix's upcoming western, The Harder They Fall. So that'll be interesting because so we'll we'll be able to kind of get an idea of what he's like in that sort of role, which again could be really good. Um, I, I think he'd be good in that role. We'll soon see, obviously. Like, we will actually soon see. Um, but, yeah, so... I don't know, really. I mean, look, at the end of the day, right? 
Lovecraft to me is not action and adventure, right? It's adventure, I guess, does work, but action, no. Uh, and they they don't out and out say it, right? They don't say it's an action adventure film. They say just adventure. But if he's a gunslinger and he's teaming up with an elite warrior princess, it's action adventure. It sounds like Shades of Mummy. You know, that sort of 90s action... Is that in the 90s? 90s action adventure film, that sort of thing. It sounds like that with the backdrop of Cthulhu. And I think that's a shame. I think that's a waste of Cthulhu, personally. Um, and the fact that it literally says Gordon Hemingway in the realm of Cthulhu, whether it's Cthulhu in there or not, Mm, we'll see. We will see. Um, but I, I, I just think it's a bit of a waste. I would much prefer... So say, say it embraces more of the adventure side of it. Remove the gunslinger. Have, um, I don't know, uh, an archaeologist, you know, out there on a dig, for argument's sake. Teaming up then with a local tribe to go and rescue someone. That's more what I would expect a Lovecraft film to be. But, um, yeah. What do you think? What do you actually think? It, I find it fascinating that we're now seeing this resurgence uh, of Lovecraft and Cthulhu stuff. Uh, I am amazed and, I, and I'm very happy to see it. I just hope it goes in the direction that I want it to go in, uh, rather than, well, well, just a crap direction, to be honest. Uh, I want this stuff to be good because I want more Lovecraft things. The When we do these sort of peaks and troughs in terms of trends, they normally start out quite milk toast, you know? Milk toast sort of stuff. And this, I would say, I would consider this to be quite milk toast. It's not full on Lovecraft, is it, at the end of the day? But if these things do well, it paves the way for more freaky, core, HP Lovecraftian stuff. And I'll be down for that. So, yeah. What do you think? Let me know down below. Um, I like this actor, Jonathan Majors. He's good. He is a good actor, uh, so I'll be keen to see him in this. Uh, of what little of Lovecraft Country I watched, I watched like three episodes, I believe. Um, he was very good in that, and he interacts with the world well. Hopefully he doesn't just play the same character, but obviously he won't be. Um, and we will soon see him actually in um, The Harder They Fall, anyway, as a sort of gunslinger type character. Um, so yeah, let's see. And he's been doing loads as well. I mean, look, he's even in Ant-Man... Uh, and the Wasp uh, Quantumania. He's playing Kang the Conqueror. What? I didn't know that. So it's interesting. Let's see how it goes, ladies and gents. Let's see how it goes. But let me know your thoughts down below. If you're new here, do hit subscribe. Thanks so much. Take care.